Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts, where I share fun facts about Muhammad and the Quran whenever jihadis go on a killing spree. Many people lay awake at night wondering, what does Satan eat? Fortunately for them, the Prophet of Islam has the answer. According to Surah 18, verse 50 of the Quran, Satan is a jinn, a class of supernatural beings created from fire and distinct from angels. And Muhammad told his followers exactly what jinn eat. Sahih al-Bukhari, number 3860. Narrated Abu Hurairah, that once he was in the company of the Prophet, carrying a water pot for his ablution and for cleaning his private parts. While he was following him carrying it, i.e. the pot, the Prophet said, Who is this? He said, I am Abu Hurairah. The Prophet said, Bring me stones in order to clean my private parts, and do not bring any bones or animal dung. Abu Hurairah went on narrating, So, I brought some stones, carrying them in the corner of my robe, till I put them by his side, and went away. When he finished, I walked with him and asked, What about the bone and the animal dung? He said, They are of the food of jinn. The delegate of jinn in the city of Nasabin came to me, and how nice those jinn were, and asked me for the remains of the human food. I invoked Allah for them, that they would never pass by a bone or animal dung, but find food on them. Jamiat Termidi, number 18. Abdullah bin Masud narrated that Allah's Messenger said, Do not perform istinja, i.e. cleaning yourself after going to the bathroom, with dung nor with bones. For indeed, it is provisions for your brothers among the jinn. Hence, jinn eat dung and whatever's left on bones. Muhammad ordered his followers not to wipe themselves with animal dung or bones so that friendly jinn would have plenty of food. More timeless wisdom from the only prophet in history who was maniacally obsessed with human waste and bodily functions. Of course, by leaving dung and bones for the jinn, Muhammad and his followers were also providing food for Satan. So, if you want to feed Satan, just follow the teachings of Muhammad. And also mentioned in the hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, narrated from Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, qadima wafdul jinn ala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi A group of jinnat came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they said, faqalu ya Muhammad, ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell your ummah that they should not do istinja with with the bones and also with the droppings of an animal as this is our food. <laughs>